morning and welcome. So today we are in Phuket, Thailand. I will show you a few spots which you can check out during your stay here. So Phuket is the biggest island of Thailand and you can do the island hopping which is a popular activity here. But if you decide to stay on the mainland, I will show you where to go. For the breakfast, I found a restaurant which is literally called the Pad Thai Shop. It's super good, it's 60 baht, which is one dollar and a half, and the portion is huge. They also serve a very nice iced coffee. That's my recommendation for a brekkie. So we arrive at the big Buddha statue, one of the most famous landmarks of Phuket. The thing is that you shouldn't wear shorts, but as I can see, all of the guys are wearing shorts and they don't have to cover their legs. But it's different case for women. If the woman is wearing shorts or a skirt, she needs to rent or buy some kind of cloth to cover the legs. That's sexist. And of course, as in every place like that, there is not only one Buddha. There are dozens of Buddhas. Somebody lost sunglasses. So this thing is for rubbing. You need to rub it fast has to be fast you know? and then all your wishes will come true whoa so big buddha is also a viewpoint but today the weather is pretty great so the buddha is very big 45 meters tall. He weighs 135 tons. It is made. It is made mostly of white marble and they were constructing it for 11 years. If you don't like places where people are screaming, shouting in Chinese or Hindu, this place is not for you. The place is open daily from 6.30 a.m. till 6.30 p.m. which is pretty long for Thai temples. This spot is pretty cool but let's move on to another one. On the way to the Big Buddha, they have several elephant stations. Some of them are baby elephants, some of them are big ones. You can ride them, uh, feed them, pet them, do whatever you want with them. They don't look that they are suffering, they look pretty happy. So our next spot for today is Freedom Beach. Apparently this is the best beach in the island and there is not many people there. The road here is pretty steep so it's not for sissies and then you also have to walk down almost 500 meters let's check it out so yeah it is pretty steep we are going through the jungle but it's apparently worth it i can't wait to see the beach so the other beaches here are very nice as well but they are you know super touristy and crowded i'm always looking for some off spots you even have a ropes here door on the way and if you buy something the seat is for free what whoa almost felt it is pretty steep and slippery so yeah this beach is not for everyone okay, no. <laughs> what are you doing locals doing some suspicious things in the forest you know yeah do not litter yeah please <laughs> It's not too many people, it's pretty chilled here. The yeah. sales guys are not bothering you too much. It's just only like few stores and you have to go there by yourself. This island is taken over by Russians. You can hear Russian language here all the time. All the menus, all the signs in the street, in the restaurants, 
they are also written in Russian. Let's check the water. Woo. It's warm. So the first time when I came to Thailand, I went to swim in the night and the water was super warm. It felt like having a bath. So if you will travel here, you might be shocked that actually the water in the sea is not cold. It's very nice. Oh, chill. This beach, 10 out of 10. Up or down it's about 10 or 15 minutes. It's a bit of a hike, but it's totally worth it. Let's check the next spot. It's Phuket's old town. Deep cleaning of the kitchen. I like that. But first I must eat something. I'm starving. I'm in the restaurant, which is a shop, which is a store, a temple and the library. First, Kapao and then some reading so the design is like the metro station in tokyo but with the name biru which means beer <laughs> To be honest, it reminds me a bit of Mexico, like Merida, for example. This colonial vibes, definitely a spot worth seeing. Next to the old town, there is a skate park, so I'll try to make a trick or two. This street is called Bangla Street and this is the heart of Phuket's nightlife. You can find everything here. A lot of restaurants, bars, all the attractions for adults, no matter your preferences. Sweet stores, alcohol, anything. This place is pretty loud and pretty wild. If you like party, that's the place for you. So I became sober like almost a year ago. So places like that, uh, I still can, but maybe, you know, for one hour. Let's check the nightlife. Let's go to one club, see how it goes. soda which was 100 baht which is two and a half dollars but they had super good promo like you pay 400 which is around 10 dollars and you can drink all night without limits beer wine and something else so if i was still drinking for 10 bucks you can party all night which is pretty cool and of course phuket is famous for lady boys so if you are into that this is the place they're, they're hiding the faces. As you already know, weed became illegal in Thailand. But also on that street, you can find all the other drugs which are available in the world. I'm walking and every five meters, the guy is doing like, and I'm like, no, no, no. The tuk-tuk drivers, they can take you to all the nasty places like Ping Pong Show, all the soapy clubs, you know. I, I, I don't want to say. Guys, thank you so much for today. That was my recommendations for Phuket in Thailand. Be sure to check my other videos from Thailand. You can also leave a subscription, like, comment, 
and hopefully see you in next video. Peace out.